The black swift nests behind remote waterfalls and flies high beyond human sight, making it Montana's most mysterious bird. When you see a swift, it's just like, it's almost like you're seeing Sasquatch or something because you're just like, holy cow, it's there. You know, it's like, oh. So that's another one we can write down because we had no idea. For the past five years, biologists have been looking for black swift nesting sites in western Montana. These remote waterfall locations are just the beginning to learning more about this secret of bird. Right now, my goal is to actually find occupied sites. And once I find those, then I can actually go out and try to collect better demographic information so we can actually tell whether or not the population's, you know, increasing, decreasing, or stable. The big question for black swift researchers is how does a bird that has just one chick relies on a very specific habitat and migrates down to South America survive in today's world? Failed nests because of water dries up and they, they can't nest or their nest fails. I mean, they have the potential to potentially crash fairly quickly. Even with the possible challenges to the black swift, just seeing one today helps reveal more about this mysterious bird. You're putting all this effort just to get to this place and you're climbing and you get here and you look and you look till you can't look anymore and then all of a sudden you just have that snap of a bird flying by and then it's just like your heart starts to beat faster and then you finally get that bird into view and you're just like, it's just that moment like, all right, we got one. So it's, I think it's awesome. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish wildlife and parks.